Hey everybody, Beyond Drew TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the community park where we're going to take a look at some amazing work done by uh, Mr. Domez there. Um, so yeah, they kind of, um, he got it back to me um, about a week early, which is completely fine. Um, because they're not going to have um, as much time to work on the park uh, next week um, as they would like to. Um, so again, that's totally fine. Um, we can uh, go ahead and release this episode a little bit early. Some of you might realize that this episode is coming out about a week early than normal. Um, but yeah, again, that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of look at um, what Mr. Domez has done here. And um, just because he's only had the park for, you know, about a week or so, just over a week, I think. Um, don't let that fool you because uh, nothing against any of the other builders because y'all have done amazing in your own right. Mr. Domez has taken it upon himself to kind of build up our world here before you actually enter into the park. Um, so, uh, again, he's covered a lot, a lot of ground. It looks freaking amazing. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, actually, you know, let's just jump on into it here. <laughs> so, um, I did kind of uh, look ahead beforehand because, again, he did uh, cover a lot of ground here. Um, so I wanted to make sure I was kind of um, you know, up to date with um, what he um, has to show us here. So the first thing is we are actually inside of one of the things that they have built here. And that is this amazing entrance tunnel into our entire, like, um, world here again. Um, so this is the um, entrance point for anyone kind of coming into the park there. Um, and yeah, this looks super good. Uh, really, really great use of all the uh, pieces in the game there. Um, especially like right here. I know this is like a strange thing to notice because it's just a concrete planter. Um, but really, really good use of the, um, this is the uh, um, coaster supports that we got, the new ones. So this is like some of the concrete footers that we got to use this. And I love these supports, uh, or footers I should say, because these little pocket holes, these little textures of the concrete look so good. And like, I, my <laughs> I love them so much that like, Frontier, if anyone from Frontier watches this by chance, can y'all pass along to make these recolorable? Because there's such a great texture and like piece and everything, but they're not recolorable. There's certain uh, ones that are recolorable, but not these ones with the great texture. So again, if anyone from Frontier happens to stumble upon this video ever, and you're still making Planet Coaster 1, um, Flexi color this, please. Please, please, please. Um, so anyways, back to Mr. Domez's amazing work. It's amazing! <laughs> um, so yeah, there is the awesome tunnel there leading into... I love this. This reminds me of when I used to live in Colorado. Um, and we'd go up to like, um, not Pikes Peak, um, but like uh, just other little mountains that would have um, these little... Um, like Not like a bridge, but um, kind of like a bridge, right? And I think a lot of times they're put there for like avalanche areas or like rock slide areas um, more so. Don't quote me on that. I'm just kind of like... Uh, putting two to two together, but well, maybe someone else knows what they put there. Maybe it just looks nice. But uh, anyways, in this case, it looks really nice. So <laughs> um, there are the uh, first two things that Mr. Domez has put in there. Again, a lot of infrastructure and uh, story building um, in this build there today. So let's go ahead and move on to the um, next thing that they have for us. Alrighty, here we are up the road just a little bit more. You can see if we take a look to our right, that's right where the tunnel was. We didn't move too far up before we saw our next little bit of, oh my God, I love that. <laughs> our next little bit of, um, you know, additions from Mr. Domus. <laughs> I just love that. Um, I live in the Midwest for those of you who don't know. So like we have a lot of farms um, around where I'm at. So the, this, the, the broken up fence just makes me laugh because I swear to God, like, Farmers have the most broken ass fences I've ever seen. Um, so, um, yeah, this is like, oh, this isn't really a farm there. I shouldn't have said that. This isn't a farm. We are going to get to a farm, but this just looks like a nice little uh, country home there. Look at that. Nice. Does someone live there? Is it abandoned? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you know, just another little bit of a world building uh, bit there. They have a nice p uh, plot of land here. They should totally take advantage of it. Um, but yeah, that's fantastic. I love that. Just again, little world building details, right? Um, let's see, I won't do a jump cut ahead this time because I do see as we are w uh, working our way up here that we are going to uh, see the next addition that they've done. I like these little poles here too. Um, Maybe I'm just not thinking or like where I would see these, at least in the United States. But uh, maybe this is more of a European thing. I don't um, recall, you know, as I'm like driving through either Colorado or just in general anywhere, um, seeing these little poles. Um, so maybe that's more of a European thing. If so, cool. Uh, I, I didn't know any of that. So, <laughs> um, But here we are. And you're starting to uh, get up to the, um, the park here a little bit. And that's why it says right here, welcome to... Oh, because we, uh, we haven't named this place yet. <laughs> so, I, again, I think I mention it every single time, and I try and bring it up on the Discord, but no one ever wants to talk about it. So, I'm going to be a little bit more firm with it this time. 
We have to name the park. <laughs> we're, we're like about to start like really build into it and stuff like that, and there's no name for it. So I'd like to stop calling this series Community Park and actually give it a name. So I'm putting my fist down. Community group. We're naming the damn park next episode. Or well, we're not releasing another episode until we name it. There. Uh, Papa Drew has, has, has put the gauntlet down. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to question mark. Uh, so that leads to your uh, park right there. But I love this right here. You have the, um, I, I named this, he didn't name this himself, but I called it the Mr. Domez Farms. Um, but yeah, he made this amazing little farm set right here. I love it. Um, he had been sending little pictures here and there of like uh, work they've been doing um, over the week. And when I saw this, this is like what I was most excited for. Um, it just reminds me of uh, this theme park that I've been to, or amusement park, I should say, down in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and um, it's kind of like that where there's just like a lot of like farm and like businesses and stuff outside of the park, um, and it just seems so random, then you have this like big uh, resort or whatever, but yeah, you can totally tell that like, um, you know, for the the story of the park that, you know, totally this was a settled in like rural area, and then this park or resort came in and really, you know, expanded way out, so I love that you still have the little bits of, you know, um, ruralness to it with the farms and the shacks. And um, as we move on to our next, or no, we're gonna, not the next thing, but the thing after that, um, one of my favorite things. So, but anyways, here's um, a little uh, more infrastructure here. Um, it actually took me like a, a hot minute to figure out how this like actually works, um, but I eventually got it because I, I turned my brain on. <laughs> but this is a really good little uh, spaghetti system you have going here with, you know, this main road here will lead into the hotel. Uh, so you have a one way going into the hotel right there, which we're gonna get to that because there's a little bit more that they have added on to the hotel there. Um, but you can also, um, see there's your hotel gate. You can also take a right. Um, we're gonna take a right right now and then come back and talk about the rest of it. Uh, but this leads into the new uh, campground area. If y'all remember from past episodes, if you haven't caught up with past episodes, I definitely recommend going back and looking at those. Um, you know, the campground was very, very close to the uh, hotel and the um, the shops and the water fountain show and all that. You know, I kind of mentioned last episode, you know, right when I moved that back, you know, there might be some sound issues. And um, everyone did agree in the uh, community discord there and everything like that. Um, so yeah, Mr. Domez um, kind of took it upon themselves here to not only move the uh, campground back just a little bit, right? They have also went ahead and make uh, made a uh, whole campground like site. Like for me, <clears throat> excuse me, this totally all reminds me of uh, going to Camp Yogi Bear as like a kid. I know like Europeans aren't gonna know what that is at all, but maybe <laughs> um, American uh, kids or you know people you'll you'll know who Yogi Bear and all that fun stuff is. Yeah, there used to be campgrounds called Yogi Bear. There probably still is. Um, but yeah, this totally reminds me of that. This is fantastic. Really, um, really good way to spread out everything and make this feel just like you know a nice secluded um, kind of campground back here. And then it does you know as well kind of open up to kind of give you. Um, I know I'm not um, doing overhead shots. We'll do an overhead shot of everything at. The the end there um, but you know you can kind of get your bearings here a little bit if you're a little bit familiar because this pathway leads to our tennis courts there's our tower and then you know there is the um, hotel and stuff back there so kind of gives you your bearings a little bit but you know we're still kind of tucked behind all of these trees and stuff back here um, and trees are a very good uh, natural sound barrier right so um, absolutely fantastic job back here I love it I love it um, don't quote me on this maybe they are here for a specific reason but I think a lot of these things here I'm not really talking about them just because I think that they are placed down as placeholders for items that we would like to use in the future um, for like backstage stuff and stuff like that so yeah I think that these were just moved back here they could be um, being used you know in a story uh, sense but um, overall I think they were just moved back here for the time being because uh, Mr. Domez did let me know that um, while he did arrange everything back here that it can be moved around so that um, that whole area may shift a little bit as time and the park um, evolves and moves on so let's go back here and go to the hotel welcome to the Hotel. We can get a name for this hotel too. Um, just like the park needs a name, we can get a, a name for the uh, the hotel here, which could be the Guard Geek Hotel, right? Because the Guard Geek made this awesome looking thing here. Um, but yeah, here we are. And uh, 
again, Mr. Domez has taken it upon himself to kind of um, uh, finish out the hotel area here. Fantastic looking. You have some um, parking, um, and then uh, I know it's a small, uh, excuse me, a small parking lot, but they kind of tackled this um, with this underground parking lot right here, and I think that's a fantastic thing. Um, when I used to deliver um, in Denver, and I used to deliver to hotels similar to this a lot, uh, most of the time I'd be going down underground like that. So this this brings back some uh, some some member berries, right? <laughs> And then you have some, uh, oops, I hit the wrong thing there. Uh, you have a few uh, little pathways kind of leading um, to your backstage there. Looks like you have some, you know, a little bit of pedestrian ex access way through here. This will all kind of get um, touched up and um, uh, worked out a little bit more. You can tell this, overall, this whole thing was just getting the infrastructure down. We'll go back through and detail everything as the park evolves there. So um, let's go ahead and leave the hotel. Um, we are getting near the end of all of their stuff here. I know this is a little bit longer than normal, but again, Mr. Domes is just clearly knocked it out of the park with how much amazing stuff they've put in here um let's go down to my favorite thing of the build hands down my favorite thing um let's go to the dinosaur tracks <laughs> and this is my favorite just because it tells such a story like it, it really does like so you have this i love how they have the uh the beaten up concrete with the different shades and everything like that you know it's an old crappy parking lot broken up concrete um if y'all don't know what this is these dinosaur tracks are like dinosaur tours or whatever um there's a lot of them in the u.s for sure i'm not sure again um about european or any other places but it's basically these roadside attractions that um you go in you know you pay your money and then there's like usually a trail and i can see it right here there's your trail then you'll go through and there's usually like animatronic dinosaurs that barely move anymore or you know it'll be like a fake um um, like replica, yeah, just like fake replicas and stuff like that. Um, but I think what this, like the, what I was talking about before the story that it tells is that, you know, this probably was here. Um, it, it could go either way. I could see it either being there before the park came up or the resort, you know, launched up and it was kind of like the only thing out here for a tourist attraction and, or the opposite where the park was established the resort was established right and then it became really popular so then this roadside attraction came and was like hey let's try and make a few bucks off of everyone going up there you know and there's only the theme parks so let's let's try and get ourselves up there too but um no this is fantastic i love <laughs> it just makes me laugh when i think of it because it is so janky and crappy looking but in the best way possible right um so yeah, that's that's really, really, really good there. Um, perfect, so let's move on to, I hope I didn't miss anything. Mr. Domez, if I missed anything, dude, you, you let me know, but uh, you did a lot and it's awesome, but I wanna make sure I didn't uh, miss anything. So this is the main, if you're not staying at the hotel, you just follow this road here. It does end right here, but this is where the uh, future planning goes. And this is like the last thing that, again, Mr. Domez has done, which is talk to us, fantastic, you know? I've, I've mentioned the last, uh, pretty much all the builds have done this, except for the very first one because they didn't need to. Um, but every build since then has been really, really good about this. And this is, you know, letting the next person know, like, hey, here's our jumping off point. Maybe we should make our parking lot back here with some, you know, a drop off area. We can have a big old park plaza right here where people can drop people off. There can be some priority, uh, prior par yeah, priority parking over here. And then, you know, eventually you have your park here, you know, which I think the idea is for the park to go and kind of wrap around here. That's why this little road right here is, I'm gonna kind of speak for Mr. Domez there, but I think that's why they have this road here. This is almost can act as a backstage road there to get into the park, um, over the campground, whatever you need there. But again, this is, um, this is a really, really good idea to do here, and I really, really encourage it every single time um, for our future builders. Don't just leave the next person in the uh, in the dark there, right? Maybe give them a little bit of a, a starting off point. Write them a note with the terrain tool, the signs, anything like that. So, um, but yeah, overall, let me pull way out here. Look at all this work that he's done. So just to get your your bearings on it again, this is what we had. Well, actually, because the campground moved out, we had this. We or yeah, we had this right here, right? So again. Went through, did a heck of a ton of infrastructure work. Um, you know, added in all these farms, the little shacks, the the dinosaur tracks, roadside attraction. Uh, kind of made a little campground 
area back here finish out the hotel area pretty much except for again a lot of what needs to be done is if someone can come back through uh, mr domas can maybe do it when he gets the park back um you know obviously there's just little details here and there that i'm sure um himself or anyone else would like to kind of throw in there so um but yeah with that being said after that monumental episode i feel like um yeah be sure to comment below let uh, Mr. Domez and everyone else in the community park. What do you think of the community park so far? What do you think of the work that Mr. Domez has done there? Um, you all pretty much know my uh, <laughs> my my opinion on it. Um, but yeah, and actually before we leave, I forgot I got to announce the next person. So yeah, the next person to get the park for the next uh, two weeks there is going to be none other than... Foley Animation Studio. So, woo. <laughs> so yeah, until, um, you know, uh, Foley Animation Studio will get the park for the next uh, two weeks or so there. Um, and yeah, we really, really cannot wait to see what they uh, they do with the uh, awesome work that has been done in the community park um, so far. So yeah, hey, as always, if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't already, be sure to um, give the video a like. It does help um, the video and the channel out a lot there. So, and also if you um, haven't uh, already, uh, go ahead and consider subscribing. We do a lot of uh, Planet Coaster simulation strategy strategy uh, business kind of games on the channel here so yeah hey for the uh community park i've been beyond TV. y'all have a fantastic one we'll see you in the next one